What's up guys, Jade Corner back here again for another Creatures of Team Wolf video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be explaining to you guys what the Were Jaguar from Team Wolf is. So without further ado, without wasting any more of your guys' time, let's get back into the video of what is the Were Jaguar explained now. Let's get into it. So the Nagual, or commonly known as Were Jaguars, are shapeshifters that first appeared in season three and later appeared in season four and season six of Teen Wolf. Now, real world mythology consists of a Mesoamerican folk religion. A Nagual is a human who transforms into either a spiritual or physical uh, animal form, and they perform rituals related to calendar cycles and divin divination, and the natives refer to themselves as gods. The Aztec god Tezcal. Tez Tezcal oh my god sorry guys i can't i can't pronounce this name to save my life but i'm gonna try to um tezcalipoca yeah i'm not saying that word again <laughs> but he could perform uh a ritual that would transform him into a jaguar at night and was viewed as the nog Nagual's protector and the word can mean shapeshifter transforming witch or trickster so that's real world mythology and guys before i continue any further this is just going to be a super long video because there's not that much on the wear jaguar from team wolf so we're probably going to end this in like another minute or two minutes or so so yeah sorry if this wasn't as long as you guys wanted it to be but yeah there's not that much information on the wear jaguar from team wolf so um yeah kate argent became aware jag aware jaguar when alpha at the time peter hell scratched her throat and apparently died However, as the full moon approached, Kate's body began to heal and return to life, which was seen in a flashback in Season 4, Episode 1, The Dark Moon. And its appearance consists of purple skin and tone with visible dark jaguar spots. Their large claws are curved and resemble closely to their feline, cal feline counterparts. And they also have large fangs that are similar to jaguars. And they have bright green eyes and their roar is closely identical to werewolves. So, yeah, it's pretty cool and pretty... I guess lazy in terms of like the show part that they have the same roar as werewolves it would be cool if they had like a jaguar roar i'm not gonna roar like a jaguar probably po post up a clip or some of a jaguar uh roar but it would be pretty cool if they had their own distinct roar to you know differentiate themselves from werewolves but yeah their abilities they have the strengths and weaknesses of as of and of any other shapeshifter and they have extra almost magical like abilities that have yet to be explained yeah guys team wolf never goes into depth with any of their creatures abilities except for some like the cannon one stuff which is pretty lame in my opinion but you know it's whatever what can we do the show is over but yeah they also appear to be durable as evidence when the Calavera shot several rounds and Kate, despite being in pain, was able to hold her ground in the scuffle of battle. And in the temple under, you know, the church that was featured in season four, uh, Kate wrapped Derek Hell in Wolfsbane and placed him under a wall with, I'm not going to say the name again, guys. Oh, my God. The Tez Kalipoka's image on it. And... The result was Derek regressing physically and mentally into a teenager. So, yeah, I guess I didn't need to watch the series because uh, in my notes, when I was looking up stuff for the Were Jaguar, I ended up finding out how Derek turned into a teenager. So, yeah, those of you who watched the Derek Hell, uh, you know, Wolf, uh, Evolved Werewolf Explained video, if I guess by watching this video, you guys know or have a better understanding of how that whole adult to teenager thing works so yeah guess that was a, a little shock for you guys but rare jaguars also have a unique con a, a unique connection to berserkers they can control these creatures through actions and how similar to that of a pack of werewolves and yeah kate all of season four was known for creating berserkers out of thin air out of nowhere which is a really really helpful and really useful ability and makes the were jaguar one of the coolest slash deadliest creatures to come across in the entire show basically if kate wanted to she can create an army of uh berserkers but this ability was never seen for some reason in season six when she came back which was weird i guess since we're, they were rushing the show the show's ending they didn't want to spend too much money wrapping up the final season but uh yeah 
it's kind of weird that that ability that ability never came back but yeah as i mentioned before they can also create berserkers by placing their bone mask and armor onto the victims of you know wear jaguars that happen to run in victims that happen to run into wear jaguars but as theo raken explains in season five a wear jaguars connection to berserkers is so strong that they can sense where they've been and where they may be that is pretty dope in itself which basically uh runs down and explains that um you know the wear jaguars basically have their own little spider sense in a way which is pretty cool and the weaknesses that yellow wolf spain is a major weakness of where jaguars when shot by a bullet faced with yellow wolf spain kate argent was severely weakened however not as weakened as certain werewolves and when and when she was poisoned by this rare form suggesting that the effects aren't as potent to wear jaguars so yellow wolf spain isn't as deadly to wear jaguars as you guys might think it doesn't have the same effect as it does on werewolves so yeah, just like werewolves, inexperienced, inexperienced were jaguars are susceptible to the effects of the full moon while under its influence. An un, an untrained were jaguar will lose control, which would lead to unwarranted shifting and homicidal tendencies, which Kate ja which Kate Argent was, uh, susceptible to, in Team Wolf season four, and were jaguars are succept are susceptible to the effects of mountain ash. Like most supernatural creatures, they are incapable of crossing or touching it. But yeah, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. If you liked my uh, exp explanation of the wear jaguar, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Sorry for the door opening in the background. That was my brother coming into the room not knowing I was recording a video. But it's okay. Um, <laughs> it happens sometimes. You just got to ignore it. But yeah like comment subscribe if you like my explanation of the wear jaguar and without further ado this is jade's corner i'm gonna get out of here make sure you guys have a great rest of your day peace love positivity as always and i will see you guys in the next video peace